Hello everybody, welcome to this week's episode of The County Seat. I'm your host, Chad Booth. When disaster strikes is the theme of our program today. Now there are different ways that disaster strikes and counties have different responsibilities in it. We will be looking at the county's responsibilities, your responsibilities in an emergency situation a little later in the show. But right now the disaster that strikes that we would like to look at is the kind that may come in the form of a lightning strike or a careless fire. They're called wildland fires. And they do have big financial impacts on county governments when it comes time to fight them. How do they spread the risk and make it manageable? Well, we'll find out right now from Terry Wood. The power and speed of a wildfire is difficult to imagine unless one has experienced the fury firsthand. Blistering heat can explode trees in an instant, sometimes creating a tornado-like vortex of fire that feeds on itself. Flames can race through brush faster than a human can run. And that is the biggest danger for firefighters trying to protect homes and property. Unlike a structure fire in the heart of the city, wildfires can be difficult for firefighters to reach and on a scale far larger than what you would see in an urban setting. Utah, like other dry western states, is especially vulnerable to wildfires. However, county leaders in this state are planning ahead. We try to plan for the worst and, and train for it like, you know, like it will happen and exercise it because this is something they have to know living in those kind of situations a while they an interface. It's not uh, similar to being in a city where there's a fire department three blocks around the corner. It could be an hour before you would get anything, depending on your location. So the provision work is real important. That provisional work takes many forms. It's basically prevention. Sometimes it's as simple as clearing some dry brush. Other times, it's convincing residents to take steps to protect their homes from potential fires. Simple steps, one would think. Folks are a little bit concerned that we're trying to mandate things, you know, they, they, they like it out in these areas, they like it there, you know, and I think they get a little bit concerned about what we try to have them accomplish. But the more we work with them and, and uh, they, they can understand and see what we're trying to accomplish, and they've been really receptive and really helpful to want to protect their, their areas. Land and property damage is not the only negative effect of wildfires. County budgets are also taking a hit. The counties are responsible for the suppression costs on private land that's unincorporated. So when I go to a fire, I'm responding to a fire that's private land but unincorporated. Um, I can't just throw the world at it and have lots of toys. You still have to not only provide for safety first, but also keep in mind that you're spending county dollars. Uh, the state of Utah they come in with us and they've done some assessments with us on wildland fires, what it would cost uh, to take care of these wildland fires based on a seven year average. They also have an insurance cost that the county is involved with that they pay for insurance purposes there uh, for wildland fire protection. Wildfires can be devastating for families and even entire communities. Even with the best laid financial plans and most diligent preparations, fires will break out. When that happens and homes are in danger, it's these firefighters who put their lives on the line. Access may be limited, conditions may be less than ideal, but they are totally dedicated to getting the job done. That's what we're trying to do is protect all of the county throughout from, from any uh, aspect of fire, no matter where it comes from. Anyway, these guys have families and responsibilities and they will drop that responsibility at the first page beyond that engine and being out there being a professional and helping somebody else. True people of their community, if we did not have them, we would be unsuccessful. For the county seat, I'm Terry Wood. Thank you, Terry, for that report. When we return, our roundtable discussion is going to be a revisited topic that we discussed on 9-11. September is Emergency Preparedness Month, and we will be discussing the responsibilities of the county and the responsibilities of the citizen as they uh, look at natural and man-made disasters, basically catastrophic emergencies. And we'll find out more about what you can do to be better prepared when we return. Some people just live life. Others turn life into a great adventure. 
The only difference is where they choose to experience it. Come to you into County Utah, where business, recreation, just life in general. Move from the mundane to the magnificent. Come to learn. Come to play. Come and do more than just live life. You into County. Find out what you're missing in undiscovered Utah. The State of Utah School and Institutional Trust Lands Administration. CITLA manages 3.5 million acres of Utah lands with the express purpose of furthering the education of Utah students while promoting local industry, oil and gas, even residential development, all at the same time. Through the careful use of trust lands, we distributed more than $22 million to Utah schools last year. The State of Utah School and Institutional Trust Lands Administration, building the state's permanent school fund. How would you spend an extra day in Utah Valley? Stay one more day. Visit utahvalley.com to make reservations. Utah Valley, bring everyone together. So, what brings you to town? What brings anyone to St. George? A couple rounds of golf, a little relaxation. What is that all? Is there more? Oh.